Let's look at this question. It's hard. Yeah, it's regular expression matching. So we're given a string and a pattern with support for dot, which means any single character. And the asteroid. Asteroid means uh, zero or more. We know that for regular expression, plus means one or more. Zero uh, asteroid means a zero or more. So the matching should cover the entire input string, not partial. Okay. So S could be empty or and contains only lower cases a to z. P could be empty and contains only a to z. And characters like dot or asteroid. Mm -hmm. So if like we're given double A and A because the, the whole string doesn't match with the pattern so it's false. Now double A and A asteroid this means could be A uh, uh, could be empty or could be A or could be double A or triple A so it matches because it's double A right and A B because dot could be mean any string so a b matches so yeah we actually uh, need to do this so how can we do this um yeah the thing is that if uh let's take a look at the last example for a a b for c c c asteroid a asteroid b Actually, we need to think that if C asteroid means empty, for the case of empty, we need to check A, A, B, and A asteroid B, right? If C means C, we need to check with A versus C. It doesn't match, so I think it could be done recursively. Like, like we check it, check the first, uh, first string and the first pattern. If they match, we will remove them and check uh, the rest. If this, if next one, if next one there is, it's not asteroid. Means there is no quantity, quantity, quantity uh, modifier. If like a, uh, a, a, b, and a c, a asteroid b, it is because a is not equal to c, so we can just say it is not matching. And so for if there is an asteroid, we need to do it recursively to check against the string with this one or the other one, right? So let's do this recursively and we need to create a recursive function called check. Uh, the parameter is that string and pattern but with a start and end. We just, uh, yeah, we can just, just uh, the start for each string, so we just say rj, okay. Just return the check uh, sp00. Okay, so the first one is thing we need to check if there is a uh, quantity modifier. Uh, let's say const is next asteroid. What is asteroid? How can I spare spell asteroid? This next quantity modifier, I say. Asteroid. I, I don't know how to uh, quantifier. Modifier equals p j plus one equals asteroid, right? Okay. Now, if it's not modifier. Now we need to compare the first one, first two characters. If they are the same, we can return false. Or if they're not, not the same, we return false, right? So if uh, the first one is the same or one of uh, the pattern is uh, uh, dot, so uh, it means SI, uh, SI, we can use include, so SI uh, dot, Includes P uh, P J. If this, we just return uh, next one. Return. So, uh, so for the case like this, 
because we next one is non modifier so we can just do it check just remove them right and check the rest so uh, we will check SP I plus one and J plus one we will handle the ending case uh, later and the other case we return false okay we make it clear with uh, several ifs uh, I'm not very good at writing those if ifs like fan fancy or ternary or something uh, just to write it down uh, with uh, uh, code that it is easy to understand so for the other cases if next one is a uh, mo is modifier like the other asteroid here let's see th th that's also there's a problem of whether the fir first one matches right so we will just copy this here if 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 it is matches right if there's matches and the case is that like for a a asteroid or a, a start asteroid the case is that it doesn't even it the the one there I think there are two patterns one is that this doesn't mean anything so we need to skip to the next one so we need to return check uh, I plus J plus two or it means a and go to the it means a and it we need to uh, yeah it means one so we need to go to the next one right yeah like uh, a a a star so the problem is that if it means a I can remove it and matches the rest like a a asteroid if it's a B and I still can 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 match it right it means there is an a and uh, yeah if the next one is not a I just say yeah it means a and empty so it means only an a one a so check sp i plus one j so this is the uh recursion this it makes this one more clear so the pros one one possibility is that a s asteroid or a a a a yeah if it is matches then the one case is that uh, the asteroid means nothing it doesn't match anything so it means zero then we need to match the full string w w without this pattern yeah right this is the first one and the other case it means one okay if the next one is a it will check it against this full pattern also if it is not a we can also check it against this check this against uh, this pattern because a asteroid means could mean zero so yeah you can check this uh, uh, check like this and how will we end one thing is that uh, it will end if J is checked already right so so the case is that one must be uh, one uh, the pattern must be checked for all right and uh, string a string must also be checked for all mm, right so the ending case is uh, like the for pattern is very long we will check 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 it might be uh, the S may be overflowed. So how can we check it? Uh, if one of them is en ended, so um, if I is bigger than 
uh, star length minus one. Or and P P is bigger than uh, no 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 J is bigger than P stand that one so both of them are uh, both of them are ending so we can say return true if not return else if hmm this is not very cool but we just write it down if one of them is ending but the other one is not if that's the case there might be a lot of a asteroid a asteroid so we cannot check that so we need to the pattern to be finished yeah we need to the pattern to be finished so uh, we need to check if uh, piece a J is bigger than uh, p stand minus one. When it is ended, we only check if return. Yeah, for a case like a a versus uh, a star a asteroid asteroid asteroid. Return i is bigger than s dot then minus one. Yeah, let's run the code. Submit. Run. If it's not the same, we would need check. We need to check this. If you want the minus i plus one. I is smaller than s dot length minus uh, yeah like this hmm. this should be true hmm? wrong answer <laughs> we console log all those strings, so it's going to be like this empty versus this. Doesn't work. Empty versus this. No work. Mm -hmm. If next one is not a modifier, so we check this. If it is a modifier, and if the same, we will jump to next one, or if it's in the path. We will check next one versus J. Plus one might it's right. So if it's not the same, we we'll just check this one. So how could this be done be done? And then versus this one. Empty versus this one. Ah uh -huh -huh. Empty versus this one, so J 
it says next one is not modifier and this is undefined dot include this one so we will return uh, every time we check this we will return and this Yeah, it passed, but it's not fast. I think. So, let's consider uh, the uh, time complexity. Time. <coughs> so, let's say the total length of flow for SNP is uh, MNN. So, it should be O. Every character will be actually traversed traversed once so it could be on a plus n a space there's cost so what mm, yeah we need to actually the problem is we need to uh, make the i stopped at the next so just next one i plus one yeah pay attention that we need to make a uh, pattern be traversed for all, uh, for all, uh, for all, but uh, for the string, we do just uh, need to it just be, to be stopped at, right after it is done, because there might be a lot of patterns like uh, a asteroid, which <coughs> means empty, so that could be actually matching uh, the empty, uh, the the I, the last I. Mm, yeah, that's all for this question. See you next time.